Milanovic with the free kick. More defending to be done from the Jets. Milanovic goes straight for goal, deflected it in. And Nick Milanovic, who found his scoring boots last season, and he's got his second goal of this campaign already deflected as it was to give the Wanderers the lead. Well, one of those moments for Ryan Scott. The Harvey Norman replay, Nick Milanovic hitting the ball nicely. It was going for the near post and the heavy deflection just gave no Newcastle player any chance. Lockie Bayless instinctively with a reflex action. from Holmes, that's a great touch from Kler. Three on three for the Wanderers. Now Krajev joins the attack. Milanovic goes for goal and scores. Doesn't need any help. Fantastic finish with the left boot. Ryan Scott beat Norlands up. Well, quick break out of the back. Care of that glancing header from Gabriel Kler on the Harvey Norman replay. It's the Wanderers Wunderkind. Nicholas Milanovic shelving himself to two. He took it all on his own shoulders. He had Zach Sapsford to feed if he wanted, but he took the responsibility and he nailed the finish. Trev with Brillante. Kandazopoulos wanted it. He was just about to hit the afterburners. Kler looks long. For Sapsford, oh, he's got the better of Nata. The Wanderers in again here. And Zach Sapsford, with a great finish, gets his first goal of the season into the top corner. Well, the ball over the top on the Harvey Norman replay. Oh, oh Nata is just beaten. All ends up. And he's a handful. Zach Sapsford. Gabriel Kler curling the ball around beautifully. I'm quite sure what Mark Nata is thinking there, but it's come up very short, not so the finish from Zaps Zach Sapsford, he zips it up, and the Wanderers now with some breathing space, can they go on further from here, it's a really good finish. A couple of months ago, he went to Jordan Holmes's left, that day, as he steps up again here, Costa Grozos, goes that way again, this time into the top corner, and the Jets have a lifeline, perhaps something a little bit more. And it's beautifully dispatched on the Harvey Norman replay by Costa Grosos. And the Jets, signs of life. This for his hat trick. Milanovic against Scott, and he drives it into the bottom left-hand corner. Again, Scott got a hand to it, but couldn't keep it out. And Nick Milanovic is the Wanderers' hat-trick hero. But it's a hat-trick night for Nick Milanovic. Having won the penalty, makes no mistake with its execution. Right, Scott beaten to his right, but it's got too much sting. And the Wanderers clear at 4-1. Just to congratulate Anthony Caceres on his first call up at the ripe old age of 32. Former victory coach Tony Popovich not scared to make big calls. Here's Renato Viscopo. Oh, and he skipped past the defender. Brilliantly done. Nisha Balupolo's name will appear on the score sheet. But make no mistake, that goal was all down to Renato Piscopo. 1 0 victory. Inquisition into how that was defended, but on the Harvey Norman replay, let's just enjoy Renault Piscopo at his absolute best. He gets one on one with the defender, uses his trickery to put it on a platter for the Socceroo Balupale, one of the easiest goals he'll ever score in the A League. Look at this, absolutely brilliant. Getting ability and just bamboozles him completely. Brilliant win play. That is exactly what you want from your winger. See if he goes the same sort of trajectory. 
Yes, she has, and there is the goal. That's the reward for it. Scored by Jason Guerrier. Nobody tracked the defender's run. It was the perfect delivery from the corner. And victory a surely set for three points now. That time he's been putting it on a dime. And look at that on the Harvey Norman replay. Gary gets a free run at the ball just outside the six-yard box. He lets the pace on the ball do the rest. He's just got to get good contact, which he does absolutely brilliantly. He's standing over this one, given the number 10 shirt this season. Five goals last year. He steps over. Thurgate delivers back post. Leonard is there, and the ball's in the back of the net. And I think it's Kane Vidmar who wheels away in celebration. It's a set move that worked perfectly. Well, it's a looped delivery on the Harvey Norman replay from Angus Thurgate. Pretty scratchy defending from Adelaide. But having got that out the way, it's a great start for Weston. I'm not sure if there was a lot of conviction who actually got the goal here. Kane Vidmar turned very quickly to ask Hiroki Ibasugi, did I get it or you get it? And the <laughs> Japanese... I touched it. Did you touch yeah, it? Yeah, he gave it. He gave it to the kid. He did get the touch too. He did get to the touch. Injury free. It seems as though he's got a real chance to cement himself as a regular A-League player. Perez, it's a great ball for Clough. The cut back arriving. Jovanovic. Oh, it's an own goal, is it? Off Dylan Leonard. What's the referee signalling? Well, it's a good ball in behind. So, Clough squaring the ball. And there it goes in, off Leonard. Well, that's a good ball from Perez. Clough ran onto it. And really, the youngster is unlucky there, Dylan Leonard. But it does look as though, despite Kane Vidmar's best efforts, that the whole of the ball did cross. The Mr. Harper to last us. A long, long time over the last few weeks. Here we go. Adelaide back on the front foot. Falami running at Russell. Falami, it's a clever little touch. Square ball, back post. And Adelaide do make it pay. And it's Zach Clough. With his first goal of the season. Building tonight as well on the Harvey Norman replay. Then Falami is onside, rounds the pass up. Squares the defender and then continues the possession and the progression of the ball. And Johnny Yall off the bench, the two substitutes combining inside the Western penalty area to put it on a plate for Zach Clough. And Clough doesn't miss. Now just checking to see if Falami was offside. Payne with the power last time. He should get standing over this time. Going for technique. Oh my goodness, what a strike. What a way to open your account in the Isuzu Ute A League. An absolute peach from Hideki Ishige. If he was thinking about, well, the wind behind me, is it going to keep rising? Well, there was no problems with that. That is an absolute peach of a strike from Ishigi. What a finish that is. Well, we know his resume, J-League Cup final winner with Shimizu S-Pulse. Welcome to the Isuzu Ute A-League. Sixth season in this competition with the Knicks. Took a while to crack it, but certainly made a great fist of it. Ishige is slipped through. Barbarousas in the middle. Lovely ball. Costa has grabbed the goal for Wellington. Well, he thinks so. But for the moment, it is being chalked off. I think he's onside there, actually. If you look on the far side, you can see a Mariner's shirt steps up just too late. Nathan Paul, maybe. And then it's this one here. He's behind as well, Costa Barbarousas. I think this is a goal. I agree. Yeah. I think this is going to be credited. So he is certainly aware of it here, but there's space 
a plenty for the Wellington Phoenix. Driving in on goal, and Sam Sutton finishes it off for the Wellington Phoenix. A rare goal in this competition. His first in more than two years. Wellington Phoenix 3-0 up on the road. It cannot get any better than this for the Knicks. Straight away again from the Mariners, and then it was just lovely football. Up, back, through, and look at the run from Costa Barbarossa here on the Harvey Norman replay. A little bit fortunate with the ricochet there, but as the ball drops, he tucks it away nicely. Have a look here. Costa Barbarossa just on the outside, doesn't need him. Deflects back right into the front. Just a little dink over the top, and then just tucks it over the on-rushing Parade Cullen, and it's 3-0 to the good for Wellington Phoenix. Oscock, Bratton. Threads the needle nicely for Vujica. Three in a row here for MacArthur. Oh, beautiful! That is unbelievable! A bicycle kick that is absolutely world-class from Ariane Piol. And the Bulls hit the front with 18 minutes to go. What a goal. Well, it's a lovely ball out from Luke Bratton on the Harvey Norman replay. It's good delivery from Ivan Buietza. But that's just the forward to what is a great story. A bicicleta of remarkable proportions. Andrew Redmayne rooted to the spot. Ariath Piol flies and lets rip. As spectacular as they come. Philip Curto has been very well protected so far today. Is that all about to change? Caceres floats it in. Good shape to it. And there's a whole scramble and it's pumped over the line. And Sydney have an equaliser thanks to one of their substitutes, Patrick Ward, who scores against the Bulls once again. And MacArthur have cracked with two and a half minutes to go. Well, it's a really well flighted free kick from Anthony Caceres, and then the bump fight is on. And on the Harvey Norman replay, Patrick Wood retains his feet to significant effect for Sydney in front of the go. A really late equaliser here. Sydney have had a lot of ball, but you couldn't say they've been banging the door down until now. It's going to be one to watch over the coming seasons. Now, attention switches to the other end. They've got an overload here, the Bulls. It's Valer Germain all the way through. It goes Yakovic! Finally, he tucks one away. And with only 60 seconds or so left, Hat MacArthur grabbed all three points right at the end. Wow. Breathless. MacArthur, look at that from Bratton. Harvey Norman replay. Another superb pass from him to Valer Germain. To the back post where Yarkulish is free. And he was the central casting character in MacArthur squandering their chances. And now he's the central hero in winning it for the Bulls. He's also going to pick up a yellow card for taking his shirt off during the celebrations, but I don't think he'll care much about that. He's had some big chances today and spurned all of them up until that moment. Cohen. Sees Talbot on the overlap, and that's where the ball goes. Talbot. Now the shot from the angle. Brilliant goal! Melbourne City take the lead in spectacular fashion. It is a rocket from Steven Ugarkovic outside the area. Oli Sale is losing it, but Melbourne City don't care. Steven Ugarkovic, one from his head inside the box, one from outside. And this one on the Harvey Norman replay needs very few words because it is a wonder strike. And he just barely puts his laces through it into that far corner. Brilliant strike by the Melbourne City midfielder. Andreas Quinn played it. To Mimetti. He's got runners on the right. Cohen. Road a challenge. Quinn. Mimetti. And two. 
Would you believe it? Steven Agakovic has scored again. And he goes and gives attention to his fallen teammate, Jonathan Cohen, but he's the one taking the plaudits in a handful of minutes for Agakovic. Well, in the end, on the Harvey Norman replay, it's a smart finish from Agakovic, but this is, this is absolutely horrible defending from Perth Glory. It might be a slight... Our very own Simon Hill here at 10 Football and Paramount Plus paying tribute during the week to a, a fanatical Perth Glory supporter. At the start of the second half, though, things have gone from bad to worse. And Andreas Cohen has scored to make it 3-0. Not even 30 seconds on the clock. Chaotic defending, and the Austrian strikes. Handed to Quen on a platter. On the Harvey Norman replay, Ollie Sale, who was actually one of his side's better players in the first half, gets it all wrong. And it just falls for Cohen. Look at that, off the right shin. Falls for Cohen. Pennington was pushed aside way too easily. And Cohen does the rest and just drives it at the target. And it finds the back of the Perth Glory net for a three-goal advantage. And this could get ugly. It's his first goal since January when he scored in the Greek League for his previous club, Atromatos. So, well Mike Hart Oval for the A-League women's. Fantastic weekend of football. Dunbar. Cohen! Great goal! And a first goal in the Isuzu Ude League for Jonathan Cohen. Well, in the end, it's a creative goal, isn't it? from Jonathan Cohen. He gets the ball out wide on the Harvey Norman replay, drives inside, a couple of touches, but look at this for defending from Perth Glory. This is symptomatic of their night. Always on the back foot, backing away from the ball. You have to defend those situations on the front foot and put pressure on the ball carrier, get their head down and close their angle. They open it up. Rukmani, first touch. Plays it to the 18-year-old Dunbar. And now back to Rachmani. Young talent time for City. And here's the cross. Mamedi! A first A-League goal. Look what it means to Jamie Young watching from the sidelines. A brilliant moment for the 17-year-old striker. Perth Glory pass. Then they break down the left-hand side on the Harvey Norman replay. And it's put on an absolute platter for Mamedi to get his first goal in the A-League. A brilliant moment for him and his family and Jamie Young celebrating from behind the goal. Just shows the type of culture in the dressing room at Melbourne City. Wonderful moment, wonderful finish.